Depression affects 15% of Americans over the age of 65, and the pandemic has only caused those numbers to climb. Feelings of loneliness are becoming common among our older population. For this week's Mental Health Monday, our city Stallworth gives us a look inside one Athens assisted living facility, and here's from a resident who says this pandemic has been tough to get through. I've never been in jail before, and I did not know how it felt to be in jail. But from all I've heard of it, that's what I felt like when I first came here. Miss Annie Miller has been living at Limestone Manor for just over a year. And after just a few months, the pandemic started. I thought it was bad at first, but as time has gone on, it's what it took for all the patients to stay safe. She says she had a lot to adjust to. Until I came here, I was always independent. Overcoming loss. You know, I had uh, several of my close family members that passed away, but I did not want to risk going to those occasions and maybe bring a virus or something back to the patients here. We're told residents have had access to mental health professionals. An organization called Remedy Behavioral Health that comes in um, on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. And Limestone Manor has gotten pretty creative with ways to lift everyone's spirits. They've started one-on-one -on -one visits to check in. You know, they like to talk about their kids, their grandkids, their great grandkids, things that make them happy. And they like to reminisce. Um, it really just kind of brings back happy memories for them. And in this time, you know, we need all the happy memories we can get. Just over a week ago, residents got their second dose of the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine, and Limestone Administrator Delois Bailey says that's bringing a new wave of hope for the future. So whether it's to go home with their family for a little while or, or maybe just go to the beauty shop. You know, a lot of them hadn't been to their own personal beauty shop, so different things like that, but it is... Um, a uh, lighted uh, end of a tunnel, so. And Miss Annie is making some plans of her own. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of the biggest things I do miss is driving and being able to go when I want to mm -hmm. or where I want to at the time. With your Mental Health Monday, Sydney Stallworth, WZDX News. You can find more mental health resources on rocketcitynow.com.